Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the dark ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the dark ROM for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T incidentally. This is a ROM which tries to have the most number of pixel features onto this ROM. It is lineage based ROM with pixel styling and pixel features. So that is pretty cool. Let's get started on the ROM now. First of all, let me just make one thing very clear. I'm not using this as my daily driver. There are reasons for that though, which I will get into in the overall experience because that is where I think a lot of improvement can be had with this. So uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get to the about phone page. In the about phone page, you can see it is Android 7.1.2. So that's pretty cool. It is based on the latest lineage OS, which is nightly uh, August 5 security patches. Kernel version is this one, it is lineage kernel, nothing fancy going on, SNS status is enforcing, but the developer has confirmed that it is compatible with Viper for our eyes, it does have all the permissions for that, you don't really need to change the SNS status to permissible, so that does work out, so you can flash Viper for eyes and Viper for Android, that is pretty cool. Apart from that, one other thing which I really like in this ROM is system updates. It is using Delta update system and I have already updated uh, this from the last version which was 8.8 .8 version to the 11.8 .8 version and uh, I've been running it since then and uh, it's been pretty good. It works out really well. For incidentally the last update was not a really Delta update. I had to download 422 megs which was okay. Uh, I can live with that though. Now when it comes to features, there is surprisingly a lot of features. I didn't really expect a ROM which touts itself as a pixel ROM which runs a stock bone stock AOSP Android to have this much feature. First of all in the display options you do have options for customizing the settings menu. It does have adaptive brightness which is normal. Nightlight is available and that does work out so you can customize that. There is color calibration also with color profile and sRGB is included in that so that does work out really well. It also has ambient display brightness setting which is a rare option which you don't really see anymore. Ambient display option is also available with uh, tilt and proximity sensors. Disable immersive mode double tap to wake prevent maximum wake up also enable clear all button you can enable that uh, on the top or the bottom and that button is really on the bottom and that is not the circular one which you are which i'm actually familiar with it is the text based one which is available in any other usb rom so that's pretty cool also screenshot type can be customized from here front end display size in typical nougat faction now sound settings are just what you would expect it does have vibrate for call connect and waiting and also disconnection Volume cells also are all configurable which is pretty nice addition. There is a gesture option and you can customize all of these ones uh, which is normal uh, for lineage options so you do get all of these options which is pretty cool. In the button option you do have on screen keyboard you can enable that. It doesn't really have a lot of options but button cell layout and all that is available and you can customize that. It also gets these uh, options for customizing the hardware buttons. I have set it for double tap a home screen for the screen off. Home, you can customize it for home screen, home button and recent button so that does work out really well. Also volume button controls are available for playback uh, control. The media volume or ringing volume on the volume key. Also keypad cursor control which is pretty damn impressive. I really like that. Additional buttons are also working and that does work out really well. In the security options there are quick unlock which is not restricted to 4 so that's pretty cool. It also has FP unlock which is amazing. I really really like that. Secure lock screen is also available which is uh, which just disables quick setting panel in the lock screen so that's also available and uh, it also has scramble layout it also has show weather in the background it also has double sleep anywhere in the lock screen blur background all of these are available and it works really well um, as I've said I didn't really uh, think that it would have this much features in it so that's pretty cool now there's also a status bar option where you can customize all of these. It does have network traffic indicator which I really like. Show Wi-Fi SSD in the status bar if you want that. Also show carrier label if you want that. That does work out really well also. Bluetooth icon, alarm icon, all that can be customized. It also has a uh, system a status bar icon customizer so you can customize what all appears there. It doesn't really have ULT icon which was a bummer. You can also customize the position of clock, AM, PM style date if you want to and also there are a few options for customizing the battery also. 
and brightness ladder can be enabled auto brightness and brightness control bar on the status bar by sliding across that's also available and that is pretty much it when it comes to features on this rom and as i've said i didn't really expect a lot of features like this one on this rom because it is a normally uh, a normal rom for the most part but it does have a lot of features which i personally like a lot so i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for features now the battery life personally the battery life has not been any interesting for me uh, i've got drains uh, of close to 2.3 percentage idle and about 17 to 18 percent active which is on the higher side of battery drain so nothing special going on here so stock kernel and by the stock settings this is my, my score so i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for battery now the performance in the performance scores i got a pretty decent performance it was about 145,000, which is on the higher side of whatever roms i've tested so i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for performance now the stability I've been using this for about three days now. Well, on and off this ROM for three days. I couldn't really use this for uh, continuous three days because I will get into the reasons uh, in a bit now. But in the time I have used it, I didn't really have any issues whatsoever regarding this ROM. Everything just works correctly, just usable. Didn't really have any issues with that. So in that regard, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because it is a really stable ROM but it doesn't really do anything much better than any other ROM so it's just normal so that's cool now camera and camera is one of my big problems the ROM doesn't really come with a camera in build it has a ROM file it has a gapps file and if you want camera and stuff like that you have to flash another extra package with snapcam and all that that is my biggest problem about this ROM this ROM does not have a lot of the essential features underneath it. I understand why the developer might have done this. I mean, it is more choice to the user. And if you want to install any camera app, like I have done, I, this is I'm using the uh, Google camera app, which is which has the HDR feature and all that works beautifully. I didn't really have any issues with that. But not having the camera app in build. It just poses a lot of problems which I just don't want to deal with. It just is not that intuitive. I just don't like that. So it might be a personal thing, but I just don't feel that should be the way it is. Apart from that, the camera which I'm using, of course, is the Google camera. I didn't have any issues with that. Everything works out really well. Uh, I have even used the Photosphere and that just works out. Uh, so you can see that this is the photograph which I just took. It works out really well. This was an HDR photo which I took off my room and that works out really well. About the ROM, it would use a snap camera and from what I would uh, understand a snap camera, it works out really well. It is using HAL 3 so you can use uh, other applications so that is pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 just because it is missing the essential. So yeah, 5 out of 10 it is. Now the aesthetics. As the developer has sought out, this is a ROM which tries to mimic the pixel style and you can see all the icons are blue uh, rather than just teal and that is a pixel thing and I like that it does work out really well the phone application and the other application which comes with this this is a screenshot which I took just after flashing the ROM and the G apps which is included so these are all the stuff which comes with it it has an audio effects it has files which does not go through your storage just pictures videos and all that it has a messaging application and it has a phone application which is extra and uh, these are the stuff these are a uh, pixel applications and it does really give you a more sense of pixel so that's really cool and it also supports full substream support so that is really cool i really like the aesthetic choice on fit so i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for aesthetics now the overall experience this is where I was kind of surprised or I, I would say I was kind of disappointed with the ROM. As I've already said, the ROM doesn't really have a camera. As you can see, it installed, the ROM does not have clock. Yeah, it doesn't really have clock application. It doesn't really have any uh, robust file manager application. It doesn't have a lot of the basic things. It doesn't have a browser. It doesn't have a gallery. I mean, that's connected with the camera. But yeah, you, you don't get a lot of stuff which you would expect from a ROM. But uh, instead, you are given a choice to select whatever you want from the Play Store or uh, APKs if you want that. And uh, I, I'm pretty conflicted about that. I mean, 
giving you all these features in build i mean if someone wants to just get rid of it and install something else you can do that with a root explorer or an uninstall manager or titanium backup i'm not really sure if uh, taking it away entirely is the uh, is the use case scenario for that so yeah that's just it and also one another thing is that uh, this rom comes as a package a G apps package and an extra package this G app package is mandatory to be used with this rom then I really don't know why this GF package is not included with the zip file of the package. I mean, I don't really find that much of a difficulty in just including those and you just have to flash one package and you can flash the extra, you can flash the extra stuff if you want um, a stock experience. But I mean, come on, that's just not what I want it to do. So that's just there. And I know all of my problems will be gone with the extra package installation, but I just feel that's just extra stuff you need to download and install rather than just having one simple package. And that's one, that's another thing. Uh, G apps package, if that is mandatory, why, why is that not just included with the package? Like I have tried installing a different G apps package, like, uh, beans G apps with this ROM. The keyboard doesn't work, so I cannot get past the setup screen. And the, there is no launcher in there, so you can even if you connect an external uh, keyboard and get past the setup screen, you can't access the phone because there is no launcher. So, yeah, it's just I mean, if it's going to be mandatory, just include it with the zip package, so that would be much easier. But in any case, uh, I still like this ROM for what it is. It's really smooth. It's it really works out really well, and it's still gonna give it a six out of ten for overall experience, though. Now let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty cool. So here is the pixel boot animation, and uh, yeah, what did, what else did you expect on a ROM which uh, tries to mimic pixel? It's the pixel boot animation. That's it. And it has a volume of its own, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess that should be it about the ROM. It's a really good package for those who want this particular setup. I mean, if you want Pixel, you get it. If you want your own application, you can do that without anything else. So that's pretty cool. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Then hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.